That's right, Wendy. We are at Science Works here in Ashland, and with me we have Executive Director, D Executive Director, excuse me, Chip Lindsay. Now, Chip, now give us a, a little bit of a show here. Show us what happens to this rose when you put it in liquid nitrogen. So, liquid nitrogen is 320 degrees below zero, so it's like 400 degrees colder than the air that we're in right now. So, when I stick the rose in, well, let's see. That's that's pretty cold. And you're getting really good at this. We may have to hire you here at ScienceWorks as a demonstrator. So the, uh, when the rose comes in contact with the nitrogen, it, it, it starts dropping. The temperature starts dropping until finally it stops boiling. It's at minus 320. So it's just as cold as the liquid nitrogen. And every bit of water in all the cells of the rose have been changed into ice. So it's just... It's just kind of like glass. I mean, the rose turned into glass. I mean, it's not going to cut me, but I mean, they just turn right back in. And a little bit earlier when we showed you a little bit of a tease, we, we did a rose and they, they actually thaw out and turn back into rose petals. But they turned, uh, yeah, just turned into glass. Yeah, so uh, we gave the rose like the ultimate case of frostbite. So uh, the rose will never come back to life. It won't be the same. And in fact, these rose petals will turn brown really fast. Like within a few hours, they'll go completely dead. Well, that looks pretty cool, and that's just a taste of what you'll get if you come here to ScienceWorks and do some more hands-on learning. So coming up in just a little bit, we're going to show you what happens to uh, just a regular balloon when it hits liquid nitrogen. So back to you guys in the studio.